Welcome to Plick Book Studio, where tales come alive and imagination knows no bounds. Tonight, we invite you on a new journey, a story set in the mystical town of Tidewatch. Join us as we follow Eleanor, the keeper of an ancient lantern, through a world where the past whispers to the present. Get ready to discover the hidden echoes of history and the secrets that time holds. Welcome, and let the story unfold. In the serene embrace of twilight, the quaint seaside town of Tidewatch unfolds along the sweeping coast, its streets a labyrinth of history woven with modern whispers. Here, Eleanor, a retired librarian with eyes as deep as the ocean, makes her home amid the echoes of a storied past. Her days are quiet, yet purposeful, enriched by the guardianship of a mystical artifact, an ancient lantern whose origins are as old as the town itself. Passed down through generations, this lantern isn't merely a source of light, but a window to bygone days. It is said that on certain dusky evenings, when the veil between then and now grows thin, the lantern reveals the vivid echoes of the past, allowing the bearer to witness the town's history in silent reverie. Eleanor, with the lantern by her side, is the chronicler of these spectral histories, a keeper of secrets seen and unseen. As the sun dips below the horizon, casting a golden glow over Tidewatch, she prepares for another evening's journey through time. The lantern cradled in her hands like a precious heirloom. Tonight, as the lantern begins to glow against the encroaching night, it will not only illuminate her path, but also guide a new soul into the heart of Tidewatch's legends. One dusky evening, as the sun dipped low and painted the sky with strokes of fiery orange and deep purple, Eleanor wandered through the winding cobblestone streets of Tidewatch. Her trusted lantern, a glow with a light more golden than the twilight itself, cast dancing shadows against the old stone buildings. It was during such tranquil moments that the town seemed to whisper its ancient stories stories that Eleanor cherished deeply. On this particular evening, her serene stroll was noticed by Sam, a writer who had recently arrived in Tidewatch. His eyes, always in search of a new story, were instantly drawn to the unusual spectacle of the glowing lantern. The light seemed to pulse with an ethereal quality, unlike any mundane torch or street lamp. Driven by a blend of curiosity and a writer's instinct for a hidden tale, Sam approached Eleanor. Excuse me, he began, his voice tinged with intrigue. I couldn't help but notice your lantern. It's quite extraordinary. Does it hold some kind of story? Eleanor, accustomed to occasional questions about her unusual companion, smiled gently. Yes, indeed it does, she replied, her voice as calm as the sea breeze. This lantern doesn't just cast light, it reveals the past. With it, one can see and experience the historical events that occurred exactly where we stand. Sam's eyes widened, a spark of fascination kindling within him. As a writer, the concept of witnessing history firsthand was an irresistible allure. That sounds incredible. Would it be possible to join you on your walk? I'd love to learn more about the town's history through this remarkable lantern. Eleanor considered his request for a moment, then nodded sensing his genuine interest and respect for the stories that were so dear to her heart. Of course, you may join me. There's much to see, and every evening is a different chapter of our town's history. 
With that, Eleanor resumed her walk, the lantern swinging gently in her hand. Sam fell into step beside her, his mind already racing with possibilities, and his heart open to the whispered tales of Tidewatch. Together, they moved through the dimming light, ready to peel back the layers of time hidden within the shadows of the town. As Eleanor and Sam continued their walk through the heart of Tidewatch, the lantern's glow deepened, enveloping them in a warm, amber light. The air around them seemed to thicken, filled with the murmur of voices and the clatter of activity. Suddenly, the modern world faded away, and they found themselves standing in the middle of a bustling market square, alive with the sights and sounds of two centuries past. Traders shouted their wares, their calls weaving through the air like music. Townsfolk, dressed in the garments of the era, haggled over prices, their voices a lively blend of debate and laughter. Children darted between stalls, their small hands clutching homemade toys. The smell of fresh bread, salty fish, and ripe fruit filled the air, drawing the pair deeper into the vibrant scene. Eleanor turned to Sam, her eyes reflecting the vivid life around them. This was the heart of Tidewatch in its days of prosperity, she explained, her voice clear over the din. See that ship insignia on the banners? That represents the sea's whisper, a merchant ship that was the pride of our town. She brought goods from across the seas, making Tidewatch a thriving port of trade. As they moved through the market, the scene shifted subtly. The air grew cooler and the sky dimmed, mimicking the approach of evening. The lantern guided them towards the docks, where the echo of the market faded into a more somber setting. They arrived just in time to witness a poignant farewell. A young woman her face marked by both determination and sorrow, stood on the wooden pier. She clung to the hands of a young sailor, his uniform crisp and his bag packed. Her voice was barely a whisper, but with the lantern's magic, it carried clearly to Eleanor and Sam. Return to me, Thomas. Promise me, she implored, her eyes glistening with unshed tears. The young sailor nodded, his own emotions warring on his features. I will, Mary, wait for me, he promised, squeezing her hands one last time before releasing them to board the ship that awaited him, its sails already unfurling in the evening breeze. As the couple watched the sailor depart, Eleanor spoke softly. Many farewells were said on these docks, some joyful, many heart-wrenching. Each one is a thread in the tapestry of our town's history. Moved by the scene, Sam remained silent, the writer within him absorbing every detail, every emotion conveyed by the lantern's light. The echo slowly faded, returning them to the present, but the emotional impact of the past lingered, a poignant reminder of the human stories woven into the fabric of Tidewatch. Continuing their nocturnal exploration, Eleanor and Sam delved deeper into the essence of Tidewatch. The lantern's light swelled once more, its glow becoming a beacon that drew forth another scene from the depths of time. Suddenly, the austere night transformed into a tapestry of color and sound as they were enveloped in the bustling energy of the town's annual festival, dating back to the early 1900s. The streets around them burst into life, adorned with garlands and ribbons fluttering in the breeze. 
musicians played lively tunes on violins and accordions, their melodies inviting people of all ages to dance. Laughter echoed through the air, mingling with the calls of vendors selling candied apples and warm pastries. Children chased each other between the legs of adults, their cheeks rosy with excitement. Eleanor's face lit up with the joy of reminiscence. I remember coming here with my grandparents, she told Sam. Her voice tinged with nostalgia. The festival was the highlight of our year. We dress up, meet friends, and dance until our feet ached. It was a magical time, a true celebration of community. As they moved through the festive scene, the lantern gently guided them away from the crowded square to a quieter street where a stately building stood. It was the old town library, looking exactly as Eleanor remembered it from her first day of work. The scene shifted, and suddenly, they were peering into the past again. The library's large oak doors were open, inviting the public inside. Young Eleanor, barely in her twenties, appeared at the entrance, her eyes wide with the awe of her new responsibilities. Inside, children gathered around as she began to read from a large, illustrated book, their faces alight with wonder. Shelves brimming with books stretched up to the high ceiling, promising endless adventures and knowledge. This was where I worked for over 40 years, Eleanor shared, her voice soft with pride. These walls have heard countless stories, witnessed generations of children growing up. It's where I learned the true power of stories. They connect us, teach us, and sometimes they even change us. As the echo of the library faded, Sam looked at Eleanor with newfound admiration. The personal history she shared added layers to the already rich tapestry of the town's past, making each step through Tidewatch a deeper dive into both communal and personal heritage. The night continued to unfold, each echo from the lantern not only illuminating the history of Tidewatch, but also the milestones of Eleanor's life intertwined with it. As the festival's echoes dimmed, Eleanor guided Sam to a more secluded part of Tidewatch. The streets here were older, the shadows deeper, and the air held a whisper of secrecy. They arrived at an unassuming building, its stone facade weathered by time. With a gentle nod, Eleanor held the lantern aloft, and its golden light seeped into the cracks of the old stone, pulling forth the shadows of the past. Suddenly, the quiet street was alive with the tense atmosphere of a bygone era. The lantern revealed a group of figures huddled inside the dimly lit room of the building. They were men and women of determination, their faces etched with concern and resolve. Maps were spread across a large table, and hands pointed at various locations, tracing potential strategies. These were some of the key figures in Tidewatch during one of its most troubled periods, Eleanor explained, her voice low but clear. This meeting was about planning the town's defense during the wars that swept through our region. They were plotting not just military movements, but also ways to keep the townspeople safe from the ravages of war. As they watched, one of the figures, a stern woman with sharp eyes, spoke passionately, rallying her companions with words of courage and unity. Eleanor's gaze lingered on the woman, a mix of pride and sadness in her eyes. That's my great-great-grandmother, Eliza. She was known for her bravery and her unwavering commitment to Tidewatch. Under her leadership, many lives were saved and the town endured through those dark times. The scene before them 
was a stark contrast to the earlier festivities, showing a community united not in celebration, but in survival. The echo slowly subsided, leaving behind a profound silence that spoke volumes of the sacrifices made by those who had lived and fought for the town's future. This moment is crucial, Eleanor continued, her hand resting gently on the lantern. It shows the depth of my family's, and indeed the town's, connection to this place. The decisions made in this very room affected generations, shaping the tide watch we know today. Sam, deeply moved by the historical weight of the moment, nodded in understanding. This was not just a story of past conflicts, but a testament to the resilience and bravery of the people who had shaped the town's history. As they left the building, the significance of the lantern's revelations was not lost on him. Each echo not only illuminated the past, but also cast light on the enduring spirit of Tidewatch. As the night deepened, the cool maritime breeze began to stir the air, carrying with it the scent of salt and mystery. Eleanor led Sam to the shore, where the rhythmic sound of the waves rolling onto the beach provided a natural cadence to their final steps together. The moon cast a silvery glow over the sand, mirroring the light from Eleanor's lantern, which seemed to pulse with a life of its own. They stopped at a particular spot on the beach where the sand was soft and the ocean whispered secrets to those who would listen. This is where I first found the lantern, Eleanor began, her voice mingling with the sea breeze. It was right here, washed ashore, as if the sea itself had delivered it to me. She turned to Sam, her eyes shining with a mixture of sadness and resolve. The lantern chooses its keeper, Sam. It's not bound by time or lineage, but by spirit and heart. Tonight, it has chosen you. Holding out the lantern, she watched him, waiting for his response. Sam, overwhelmed by the honor and the weight of responsibility now being offered to him, felt a surge of awe and humility. I, I am honored, Eleanor, to think that I came here looking for stories, and now I'm to become a part of this town's history. It's more than I could have imagined. Eleanor smiled, and as she passed the lantern to Sam, the light flickered brightly, as if affirming his acceptance. At that moment, the lantern revealed its final echo for the night. Before them appeared a scene from many years ago. A young Eleanor, much younger than Sam had ever seen her, receiving the lantern from an elderly woman with kind eyes and a knowing smile. This was my grandmother, Eleanor said softly, watching the scene unfold. She told me the lantern was not just a keeper of histories, but a beacon for those who care deeply for this town. She made me promise to keep the stories alive, to pass them on when the time was right. As the echo faded, leaving only the sound of the waves and the sight of the lantern now in Sam's hands, Eleanor took a step back. Keep the stories alive, Sam. Share them, cherish them. And when the time comes, pass this lantern on to another who loves Tidewatch as we do. With the moon overhead and the lantern's glow securing a new bond, Sam nodded solemnly. I will, Eleanor. Thank you for trusting me with such a treasure. I promise to honor it. Together, they watched the sea, the lantern between them, now a symbol of an unbroken chain of storytellers guarding the echoes of Tidewatch. The night's journey had come to an end, but for Sam, a new chapter was just beginning.
as the first light of dawn began to paint the horizon in hues of pink and gold, Eleanor and Sam lingered on the shore, reluctant to part from the profound connection they had forged throughout the night. The lantern, now resting in Sam's hands, seemed to glow with a gentle reassurance, its duty fulfilled for the moment. Eleanor turned to Sam, her expression serene, yet filled with the wisdom of years spent in the company of Echoes. Remember, Sam, everyone has their own lantern, though not all are made of glass and flame. Our lanterns are our memories, the stories of our lives that glow brightly in the dark times, guiding us and teaching us. She gestured to the lantern, then to the rising sun. Just as this lantern has shown us the echoes of Tidewatch, our personal lanterns illuminate the lessons of our past, the joys and sorrows that shape who we are. They remind us of where we've come from and guide us to where we need to go. Sam nodded, deeply moved by her words. I'll cherish this gift and the stories it holds, he promised, and I'll strive to be aware of my own lantern to understand the echoes it may reveal. Eleanor smiled, content. That's all we can ask for, she said. To hold our stories close, to learn from them, and to share them when the time is right. Keep the light burning, Sam, in the lantern and in your heart. As they walked back toward the town, the first rays of sunlight scattered the last shadows of the night, and the lantern's glow faded into the new day. Sam felt a profound sense of purpose and connection to the town, its history, and his own journey. Eleanor's parting words echoed in his mind, a gentle reminder of the enduring power of stories. The story concludes with Eleanor's assurance resonating beyond the boundaries of Tidewatch, reaching out to all who listened. She encouraged not only Sam, but also each listener to seek out and cherish the echoes in their own lives, to find their lanterns filled with memories, and to let them light their way in the world.